Kevin Ryan from Hardware Heaven and today I'm doing a review of Kingston's HyperX 10 year anniversary memory, looking specifically at the 16GB 2400MHz quad channel CL11 kit. So let's get started! Starting with the packaging, Kingston have used the see-through container allowing you to see the memory inside. Now the memory is of course compatible with Intel CPUs and is also XMP certified, meaning that it's easy to configure, all you've got to do is set the memory to XMP in the BIOS. Um, so this is a 16GB quad channel kit which is perfect for X79 motherboards, but of course it will work with any motherboard that supports DDR3 2400MHz memory, such as Z77, Z68 and of course it will also work with AMD chipsets. Um, now, Kingston also do memory kits in 4, 8, 16 or 32 gigabytes from 1600MHz to 2400MHz. Looking at the memory itself, I want to say I really love how it looks. It's like the perfect combination between pretty and sexy, having this really nice like chromey bit here and this really like shiny diamondy bit here. I just really love how it looks. Um, it is using Kingston's 10 year anniversary heat spreader. Although I do feel like it's let down a little bit by the green PCB, but I suppose you won't see that anyway once it is fitted. Um, but obviously this is low profile memory, which means it fits perfectly under a heatsink. Um, and the kit does run at 2400 MHz at CL11 with 1.65 volts. Um, and it is worth mentioning that this kit does get a lifetime warranty, um, and also each of the modules have been factory tested. I have now fit the memory in a rig, and I have to say it does look really nice. So the HyperX memory has got two programmed XMP profiles, one at 2400MHz and one at 2133MHz. Now I'm going to be benchmarking both of these profiles and also comparing them against some Corsair 1600MHz quad channel memory. Now I know this isn't the fairest of tests but it should show if there's really any points of getting high MHz memory. And I'll put all the test methodology in the description below. So the first test that I ran was Cinebench, and this shows CPU image rendering performance. And I found that with this test there wasn't hardly any difference between the results. Um, so enough of that, I moved on to the newest 3D Mark, where I tested Firestrike on the Extreme preset. And what you can see here, other than the fact that I really need a better graphics card, is that once again there was hardly any difference between the two kits, the 2400MHz Kingston memory only doing ever so slightly better than the Corsair 1600MHz memory. So then after that I moved on to CSoft Sandra, where I ran the memory benchmark. Um, and as you can see there is a noticeable bandwidth increase moving up the memory speeds. And this has to be the only test that I did that actually showed a noticeable difference um, and a reason to get the higher megahertz kit. So then after that I moved on to some real world tests, the first one being quite important to me which is video rendered times. Now I ran um, an outro which is a picture and four videos over overlaid over the top for one minute um, and once again with this test I found that there was no real difference in render times. Um, and then finally I ran a gaming benchmark which was Tomb Raider, I ran it on ultra settings and I did see very small improvements to the Kingston memory. Now I ran every test three times, taking the average from the three, so there was some consistency to the precise improvement, but it isn't really anything you'd notice in real life. So then looking back at the benchmark results, as you probably already know, there's not really that much point in high megahertz memory, especially in a gaming rig, and that's why in my workstation I do normally only use 1600 megahertz memory. But there are some people who can make use of high megahertz memory, and some people who just want the bragging rights. So for those reasons, this kit is great. Um, but Kingston do also do low megahertz kits of the HyperX 10 year anniversary memory. Now in the comparison, I did also want to chuck in 16 gig of G-Skill 2400MHz memory I've got, um, but this motherboard is very picky with memory and I couldn't actually get it stable, um, so I am very impressed that the HyperX's were stable at 2400MHz. Um, but this memory does also have a lower XMP profile, which I like because not a lot of memory does. Um, but I do feel like this memory's like, main selling feature is its looks with its like diamondy effects, but for that reason I do wish they'd like gone for a black PCB rather than a green one, or I suppose once it's in the rig you can't really see it. Um, but at the end of the day, would I recommend the Kingston HyperX 10 year anniversary memory? Um, this kit, probably not, but the memory as a general, like the, the memory as a range, especially as they do lower megahertz kits, yes. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to give this memory the Hardware Heaven Recommended Award. So that was my review of Kingston's HyperX 10 year anniversary memory. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more gaming and hardware content. And thanks for watching.